Let us learn how to traverse a linked list in this video. So what is traversing? Well, traversing means to navigate to a node in a linked list. Now, why do we need to navigate to a node in a linked list? Well, it is because there is no random access possible in a linked list. Random access is possible only in an array, not in a linked list. So here I have a visualization of a linked list. In order to traverse this linked list, you need to start from the first node and then check the link of that node to go to the next node and so on. When you find that there is no link to go ahead, you stop and conclude that this is the last node that we have reached. Now it's not necessary to always go to the last node. So you might have a logic where you check the value of each node and then stop when you get the desired value. Now let us see a code snippet and try to understand how this traversing mechanism works. So this code snippet is from the C language. In the last video, we saw the structure of a linked list node. So this code snippet builds on that structure. So the first step is to make a copy of the head pointer. This is needed because if we change the value in the head pointer, we mess up the pointer to the first node and then essentially lose access to the linked list. So we have made a copy of the head pointer. We call it the node pointer. Now in this case, we are traversing the list until there is no element left to traverse. Now the while statement checks whether the next pointer of the node is null or not. This is to check whether we have reached the end of the list or not. So here, in this case, a pointer exists and it points to the next node. Hence, we go inside the while loop and then move our node pointer to the next node. Once you move, you can access the value of this node. Again, it will check whether the next node is present. Yes, it is present. So it will move to the next node. The same case here as well. Now we are pointing to the last node. And in this case, the while loop will fail because there is no next pointer available. It means that the next pointer is basically null for the last node. Hence, we conclude that we have completed traversal of this list because we have reached the last node. So this is how you traverse a linked list in a C language. Of course, inside the while loop, you can add your own logic to check the value of each node that you're traversing. And then you can always arbitrarily stop at any given point. You don't need to go to the last node every time. So that was all about traversing a linked list. Next, we will see how do we append a node to a linked list.